if it's time to move on from your career, from your business, if it's time to pursue something else, then somebody else in your family is going to just up and leave or something. I don't know. Right as you're about to make drastic changes in your life, I do see somebody here. Like you're gonna leave the corporate world and Popeye's fried chicken. No. Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Star Seaside here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is for April 2024. It's a general retake that resonates. Leave with us behind, cross washers. You are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link. In the description box below, I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in the street for my Scorpios. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So Scorpio, let's look at the energy, then we're going to look at love, and then uh, career, money, whatever messages come up, and then anything else spirit has for you okay so we have aries on the side the tower the fool the emperor on the side mars getting ready to station direct we have uranus on the side okay the star on the side uranus getting ready to station direct we have number five upside down hierophant in reverse venus retrograde taurus energy um Something's still not moving forward this month. I feel like it has to do with a love situation. For some of you, it could be a work, a work thing. It's something here that I feel like you're wanting it to move forward, but then it's not really moving forward just yet. You have the King of Wands here. Four of Swords. Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Wow. Now, what's that all about? Page of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Eight of Cups and Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups. Hangman. Ace of Swords. What is this King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy? Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups. Why the the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, though? Death? No, Source, Page of Cups, Emperor. Okay. Shall we get started? Shall we begin, finally? So, I see here, Scorpio, the energy this month is actually really good. Even though things may not be going as they seem even though things aren't going exactly as planned you're actually in good spirits this month you're in a good mood i feel like a lot of it has to do with your sleep okay you're going to be getting good sleep this month if sleep has been hard to come by this month you're actually getting sleep now for some of you right there's also a deeper uh, practice in terms of your spirituality i see yoga becoming a daily part of your life prayer meditation okay manifestation law of attraction i see all of that becoming a very integral part of your day-to-day -day life and also hydration i see this month scorpio you're really getting into your health like crazy with the king and queen of wands there is something here you want to look good okay regardless if you're uh whoever regardless of whoever you are right regardless of your gender love you want to look good. Is something here. You want to look good. You want to feel good. And you want to do good. It's very much self-improvement this month. With the Seven of Pentacles and uh, King of Cups here, I do see that this month, your focus and your priorities is towards your abundance, your stability, okay? Your living arrangements. 
I do see here is something about making long-term investments, long-term plans towards your stability, your structure. You have the Page of Pentacles, Death, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Six of Swords. I definitely feel like some of you are going to walk away from a job this month. Um, that's definitely coming up for some of you. Definitely some of you are going to quit your job and move forward into a new one. I feel like that's going forward into a career. I do feel like with career and business, some of you this month, you're going to feel kind of... Eh? I don't know if it's the pay or if it's the environment, the culture. I don't, I don't know, but it's something here. Like a lot of you this month, you are going to be thinking about... If it's time to move on from your career, from your business, if it's time to pursue something else, I just feel this energy of, yeah, so there was a brief interruption, um, but I just feel like, I don't know why Scorpio get this energy of, Maybe it's time to pursue a non-traditional path. I don't know. I just get this energy of you looking at other options like living out of a country or cutting costs or living out of a different country, excuse me, or like moving into a van. I don't know. It's an energy here of like you looking at different options when it comes to living. It's something here. You don't want your life to be all work, work, and work. And I think this month is it's becoming too much, the energy. I feel before it was more of like coping or compromising, but I feel this month is just you you kind of reach your breaking point. Like you're ready to you're ready to move forward, even if it means you're going to struggle for a little bit or be broke or something. I don't know. Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and Death. Some of you, this could be you moving out of your parents' house. Uh, for others, this is you wanting to move out of state. You just can't stand living where you're living anymore. Others, this is you living with your adult children and you want them out of the house or you want to leave. Um... That's an energy here, like, you will be able to manage, the Six of Swords is there, like, you would be able to manage, you would, ultimately, you would be able to move yourself into calmer waters, right? Like, everything will work itself out, but you may find yourself struggling, at least initially. I feel here, this month is really about what you wish to invest in long term. Whether that's relationships, whether that's love, whether that's career, I feel this month is like um, almost this clarity, like what am I going to pour my heart, soul, and energy into? Now, Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups, Hangman, Ace of Swords. Can I get information on this Ace of Swords? Because I feel like there's something here, the lovers... Okay. Right as you're about to make drastic changes in your life, I do see somebody here. So the love portion, I do see somebody here that's coming in and finally speaking their peace after just washing you for years. I'm hearing this person has washed you for years, Scorpio. Um, some of you have had an on and off push pull day. But what I'm really getting right is that you're this Queen of Cups energy. And this individual, even though they are there as the King of Cups, they are also King of Wands with the Queen of Wands. So that tells me they have some type of energy that they are still dealing with or they're still tied to a karmic energy in some way, shape, or form. So they're not ready for this union. I feel like... Just as a just as you're about to make a transition in your life, somebody wants to come in and step in and try to manipulate the situation with the magician and the page of cups. But the spirit is saying that you're gonna keep moving forward. There's gonna be some solar plexus activation, knight of swords. 
Scorpio, somebody here is going to chase after you, but it's like they're still with somebody else or they have some type of legal tie. They could be married to that person, but I feel more so that their names are are on a uh, either a lease for a place or a mortgage or something like that. Like they're tied to some type of living situation. So they're still going to... Maybe they're not together, but they're still going to be dealing with each other every now and then because they both have contract with a, a, a place that they were living in. Hierophant, Four of Cups. Yeah, like there's some... <sighs> Queen of Pentacles... Someone here in your family is, like, about to throw the tower or something. Like, they're about to pack up and leave. Um, this could be... It's weird. Why do I feel like before you leave, before you make your transition, somebody else in your family is going to just up and leave or something? I don't know. This could be a Taurus. Some of you could be your mom. For others, it could be your daughter or your sister. I don't know. I guess something here, like somebody's going to do a tower and they're just going to pack up and leave because you have Queen of Pentacles, the tower, and you have Nine of Cups in the world with the High Priestess. I feel like they're going to do this in secret. Ten of Pentacles and the Fool. Somebody has a house in a whole nother state or country. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody here has a house or something, a mansion or something. In a whole nother state or country and that's why the tower they're just up and leaving they're just leaving they're not even telling you anything where they're going it almost seems to me like some there's a family member here that's just about to cut off everybody and they're gonna pack up and leave but they're cutting off everybody because they they have some type of money they have like a mansion waiting for them somewhere I, this is really weird this is weird, y'all, okay? Gotta be honest, this is kind of weird. <laughs> like, somebody here, is, is this, like, stolen inheritance, a stolen trust? Like, what? what is this? Because, <laughs> like, they're making a break for it. Four of Cups, higher five. What does the Four of Cups represent? And then we'll, we'll keep it moving. Queen of Swords, some type of... Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is some type of money. Somebody here has a lot of money. There's a lot of hidden money here somebody's hiding. I don't know. This is really strange. So yeah, but anyhow, somebody's just gonna pack up and leave. And they have some type of mansion or some type of land waiting for them somewhere else. So we have leadership here. Magnetic. We also have secrets. Yeah, so... I feel like you and this King of Cups, you guys could have had like a divine contract, but you're not responding to them. You're not responding to them. I feel... Scorpio, this month, you're just going to move forward and do what you need to do to be happy. That's basically it. Yeah, forms, contracts. Hot mess. Somebody's DM or DF. Like, right, you're about to make the biggest change in your life. You're you're definitely going through a transition. And right as you're doing this, somebody wants to come in and call you up. But they still have some type of third party situation. Somebody this month is re finally revealing themselves only to show you, right, the star that they want you to be their side piece. Like, they don't, they don't, they never want to lose you. But they're not stepping up fully, so. Deep thinking. Yeah, you're going to think on it, and then you're going to move forward. 
I'm telling you, some of you are going to leave the country, or you're going to leave the state, or you're going to make your plans to do it. Or, or you're leaving your business, you're leaving your career. It's like a huge change. But I also see somebody else here in your family is, is going to do something similar. But whoever this family member is, they have money. They have gained some type of Ace of Pentacles with the Six of Wands, but I feel like they haven't said anything to anybody. And they're just going to up and leave and go to their mansion or to their land or something like that. Like they have a whole setup waiting for them where they're headed to. And I don't think you know about this. Or they have a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. This read is really weird, but you guys, I smell fried chicken. Popeye's fried chicken. Now I'm vegan. I don't eat that. You know, I've, I've been vegan 10 years, but I smell that Popeye's fried chicken. Okay. I smell it very clearly. It's so strong, like the smell of that, that fried chicken. So somebody could have had Popeye's or somebody could have had homemade fried chicken recently. You know, and I just have to say, like, why aren't you vegan yet, love? Why, why are you, you eating the animal? It's time, okay? You're ready to go plant-based. You're ready to go vegan. Anyhow. What do you see happening in love? And then we'll just close out the refinance. Look. Finances and proposal. You see, somebody is tied. This person that's coming toward you, they're tied in some type of financial arrangement with the third party. So they still won't be able to fully pursue you until that contract is finished. I really feel like it's a lease on a place or some mortgage that they they both have their names on there. Change. This is a twin flame or a soulmate that's chasing after you and telling you that they've changed, that they've gone through their spiritual awakening. They, you know, they want to honor this connection, but at the same time, they have some type of legal binding to the third party. Roll the dice, party, yeah, and player. They could have been in that player energy, you know. I feel like they're going to take their leap of faith this month, though. Single. Music. Yeah, some of you are going to pursue a career in music. Like, you're going to leave... The corporate world and you're going to pursue a career in music singing at different events or like at different restaurants cafes doing live uh, music and whatnot hotels even doing stuff on social media uh marketing yourself <clears throat> at bars or clubs even like some of you are going to be kind of like oh Please excuse me, that's my frequency to destroy archons. Anyhow, some of you are going to be like, kind of like how Taylor Swift started, right? Where she would sing at restaurants and whatnot and perform, and then she got her big gig. Like, I feel some of you here, you're going to start singing at restaurants and cafes and I heard boardwalk or something similar. Like, you're going to be giving performances and making money it seems to me like you're going to be making some money i do feel like this is going to be a leap of faith some of you are going to be a bartender or you're going to work at a club or at the disco <clears throat> i just see you taking this month you're taking a non-traditional approach to life and that's why the hierophant is in reverse because the hierophant talks about tradition but Tradition isn't serving your highest interests at this point. You want something different. So this is a month where you cause some drastic changes. But that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck. And I wish you love and light. Take care.